morning YouTubers, this is Truby's friend Bill, aka Blue Skull. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the, uh, the new ASUS Maximus 4 Extreme motherboard. Uh, this is the new Revision 3, uh, so it just came out. Uh, I think it was uh, available as of last Thursday, the 17th. Uh, it shipped out for me and uh, I received it today in the mail. So I'm really excited about it. This is going to be in my personal build. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, you can open up the front flap, and it gives you a, you know, it's got a little preview window, show you the motherboard when you open it up, and it's got some more information on the front cover here, um, the, uh, you know, SUS Maximus 4 Extreme, it's got the Rogue iDirect, it says now you can tune your PC from your iPhone or iPad, um, RC Bluetooth, Rogue Connect, USB BIOS flashback, which is really nice to be able to update BIOS from a USB drive and uh, Extreme Engine Digi, which is a powerful combination of analog and digital design elements. Um, so, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing out of the box. Okay. All right. Okay. See, it comes with uh, it's got two separate boxes here. Uh, one's got the motherboard in it, and the other's got all the peripherals. We'll go ahead and take a look at the peripherals first. We'll just move the motherboard off. Um, let's open this up. Okay, first off, uh, up the top here, yeah, you've got the uh, SUS branded three way SLI bridge. Um, up here, this is for the uh, um, this is for the iDirect, which is uh, how you, I guess you can tune parts of your, your motherboard from an iPhone or an iPad. That looks like it could be pretty interesting technology. That will connect to the back plate of the computer, or the I.O. plate. Uh, of course you've got some um, zip ties there for tying up, tying up lines, uh, cables, etc. Got just a standard uh, floppy USB, or excuse me, a floppy um, uh, SLI bridge, man. Uh, the uh, I.O. plate Pretty nice. It's got the padding on the back of it. It's got some temperature sensors. Uh, crossfire bridge, um, which is the uh, it's the flexible kind, just like the other SLI bridge. Um, then you have these uh, Rogue Pro Belt. Uh, this is for connecting um, a multimeter to the motherboard. It's got it's two little cables you can connect. Uh, there's a header on the on the motherboard. You can see there, I'll show you that in a minute. You can connect a multimeter to get um, voltage readings directly off the motherboard. You've got the, uh, um, this is for the power, power switch, um, hard drive activity, etc. Lights. You can connect the, uh, the headers onto this and then just plug that directly into the motherboard. That's a nice, nice addition. Uh, Rogue exclusive features guide, you know, goes over uh, so you can see the Rogue Connect, RC Bluetooth, and Rogue iDirect. Uh, and then the uh, Maximus 4 Extreme User's Guide, which you know comes with the uh, driver disc, uh, a sticker powered by Republic of Gamers, and you've got the uh, cable um, identification tags. You can put those on different things so you know which, where they are and where they're coming from. And then, of course, all the rest of the, uh, the User's Guide. Very good to have on hand. Other side, um, this is for, it's just a USB cable, but it's for connecting your, uh, your Rode Connect. Uh, you've got an additional um, USB expansion slot, um, so you can get a couple more expand or USB slots on the back of the motherboard. You've got, it looks like two, um, these are probably SATA 2 cables, those are straight to angle, and then these look like the uh, SATA 3. Uh, you can see they're a little bit different. They've got white on them. I'm assuming that means that they're the uh, SATA 3 cables. And then, of course, you've got the Republic of Gamers sticker that you can put on your case. So let's go ahead and put all this stuff back in here. And we're going to take a look at the motherboard. Okay. Very nice packaging, by the way. Okay. All right, uh, motherboard itself. Um, you see, it's got the uh, plastic cover on the top, which just pops right off. Pretty hefty plastic. 
Um, looking at the motherboard, looks like we're going to have to. Well, probably want to turn it right side up for you all. Um, looks like you can't just pop it out. You know, there's an overhang here, so we're going to have to. Looks like pop a couple of uh, tabs on this side to get it out of the box. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to take this and actually I'm going to set this back on top of the plastic here. So we're looking right at the motherboard. You can see it does have a sticker here, the new P67B3 revision. That's over the um, the PCI slots. It's got dual channel memory, uh, four slots up here. Um, it's got the uh, debug LED up here in the top corner. Um, going down the side here, we've got the you know, start reset switch on the actual motherboard itself. And right along here, this is where you can plug in that multimeter cable so you can get uh, voltage readings for the, the CPU and other other areas and the memory down here. Uh, it's a nice feature to have. Um, then one of the, my favorite features, I've used this on other you know, different motherboards before, it's very good for troubleshooting. You can turn on and off each of the PCI Express by 16 lanes right here. And it's a switch, so you can just click it one way or you know click it off and then click it back on. You don't have to pull pins and re, you know, uh, reinstall pins in order to disable and enable different slots. Uh, the power for the motherboard is a 24 pin. Down here we've got uh, four, um, looks like SATA 3 or SATA 6 GB per second uh, slots right here, and then another four of uh, the old style uh, SATA 2. Um, again, four PCI Express by 16 lanes, but you also have a PCI Express by 1 and a PCI Express by 4. Um, and also, right here in the middle, I'll kind of bring you in close, there's a Molex connector right here. And that's for additional power for the uh, the PCI Express lane. So if you're using some high-powered graphics cards, you can just add a little bit more power to them right there. Um, the uh, heat sink surrounding the CPU for the chipset and the uh, MOSFETs and everything, it's very nice, low profile. Um, so you'll be able to get uh, different heat sinks over top of this. I plan on using the Corsair H70, which will probably stick out from the back of the case, you know, covering up a good portion of this. But uh, it's good that it's nice and low profile. Uh, looks like right here there's going to be a, this, a Republic of Gamers LED that will that'll light up with the motherboards on. Uh, and then let's go ahead and take a look at the back back panel here. Um, you can see there's, a, if you can count them up, there are eight uh, USB 3.0 slots on the back of this motherboard, which is you know, an incredible amount of, uh, of, S, or of, excuse me, of USB ports. You've also got two uh, LAN ports, and then of course your audio uh, up here. You've got you know the old style PS2 for motherboard, uh, excuse me, for keyboard and mouse, uh, one or the other, and then a couple slots in there for uh, Rogue specific applications like the uh, Rogue uh, iDirect, uh, Rogue Connect, which uh, you can go. That's actually Rogue Connect ones right here. You can see that's uh, that's not a uh, USB 3.0 slot, uh, but and then also the um, it looks like you've got a clear CMOS button on the back, um, fiber optic audio out, you know, a couple other things like that. And up here at the top, uh, you've got a, an 8-pan uh, ATX power for the CPU. And of course, all around, you've got uh, a couple different CPU fan headers, one, two, three, four, uh, looks like four, five, six. You've got a lot of different fan headers on the motherboard uh, for powering different, uh, different fans, although I tend to power mine directly from the power supply. Um, that's just a quick overview of the motherboard. I'm really excited about getting this into my build. Um, I'm going to be pairing this with the uh, uh, 2600K and 16 gigabytes of Mushkin memory. And then I plan on getting uh, two GTX 590s. We'll see how that goes. Of course, they're not out quite yet. They should be out, uh, I believe, two days from now on the 24th. Um, but since I got this in the mail today, I want to do a quick review, quick unboxing, not really a review, just an unboxing, show you all the components that it comes with, and I uh, look forward to uh, getting this put together. Thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe.